Hello all. Today we will discuss about subquery. How we can use the subquery to solve a specific problem. For example, I want to find it out all those who are earning more than Tatsat. So what we need to do first? We need to write a subquery that we need to find it out first the salary of the Tatsat. Then we can write the main query that which employee have the salary greater than the Tatsat. So how we can do this? Very simple. In this inner query, this is you can say that is the subquery syntax. So here in an inner query, we need to write the query to find it out the salary of the Tatsat. And in outer query, we need to find it out all those who are earning more than Tatsat. This inner query execute once before the main query that outer query runs. So result of the subquery is used by the main query. For example, I'm, I'm just writing here one query that is select salary from employees where name is equal to Tatsat. So what is the salary of Tatsat? For example, let me write here one query. Select a salary from employees where name is equal to Tatsat. Then it says that the salary is 2050. Then 2050 will be passed to the outer query. So here you can say that select star from employees where salary greater than 2050. Whenever you run this, then these are the people who earn more than Tatsat. And what is the salary of Tatsat? 2050. So here you can see that all these people are earning more than Tatsat. But I don't want to write this in a two queries. I want to write it in a one query. Then how we can do this? Simple. Instead of writing inner query first, you can write outer query first. That is select star from employees where salary greater than. Now here you can provide your inner query, sub query that select salary from employees where name is equal to Tatsat. So what happened? Tatsat salary will be passed from sub query to outer query. And as a result, you will be able to get the record of the people who are earning more than Tatsat. So this is the way you can use the subquery to solve the problems. But whenever you learn the subqueries, you need to remember this guideline is enclose the subquery in the parenthesis, place the subquery on the right side of the comparison condition. The order by closing the subquery is not needed unless you are using the top end analysis. Use the single row operator with the single row subquery and use the multiple row operator with the multiple row subquery. This operator we will discuss, but you need to remember this particular point. If your subquery returns only one record, then you can say, see here, this clerk, it means that this subquery returns only one record that is clerk. If your subquery returns more than one record, then you can say it is a multiple row subquery. So, which are the single row subquery operator? For example, equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal and not equal are the operator of single row subqueries. For example, let me execute the single row subquery. For example, see, this is the query which finds the job of SRE. It means I want all employee who has the same job as the SRE have. As well as I want to find it out that the salary should be greater than the salary of 7900. So there are two different subqueries written over here. So how we can do this? Very simple. Here you can write, select star from employees where job is equal to select job from employees where name is equal to SRE. So what happened into this particular query? It will return all the people who has the same job as the SRE have. So, Parag, Anil, Ramesh and Srey have the same job. But I want that the job should be similar to Srey, but salary should be greater than the 7900. So, what is the salary of 7900? That is 950. It means I want all those who are earning more than 950. So, here you can modify your this query and you can write job is equal to this and Salary should be greater than, now you can write here, select salary from employees where employee number is equal to 7900. Whenever you run this, now Anil and Sri are the people who earning more than 7900 
and both have the same job that the Shrey have. So this is the thing that you can do over here. This is what a mention over here in the presentation that this particular record is returning one record that is clerk. And this also returns the one record that is 950. So you can say this is a single row subquery. Now, here you can use the group function in subquery also. For example, if you think that, sir, I want to find it out all those who are earning the maximum and I want to find it out the details of the person who earn the maximum or minimum. So here you can write select star from employees where salary is equal to you can select the minimum salary from employees. Whenever you write minimum salary from employees, then it will display the detail of the person who earns the minimum. So Parag is the person who earns the minimum. Here you can also write like this, select the star from employees where salary is equal to and you can write the select max of salary from employees. So there are two records. See here, one record that is you can say this person is earning minimum and Raja is the person who earns the maximum. Now suppose if you think that sir I want both in a single query, then you can write like this that where salary is equal to maximum salary or salary is equal to select minimum salary from employees. So what happened in this case, it will display the details of the person who earns either maximum or minimum. Parag earns the minimum and Raja earns the maximum. So this is the way you can use the group functions in your sub query. You can use the sub query in having close also. For example, if you look carefully into this particular query, then what happens See, I am using the group functions in sub query to find it out the minimum salary of the department number 20, that is 800. Now I am writing in a having close to find the minimum salary greater than, that is the minimum of department 20. So you can use the sub query in having close also. Let me give the example. For example, I'm just writing here one query that is select department number minimum of salary from employees. As we all know, whenever we write any column in a select statement, which does not use any aggregate function that we have to write in a group by close. So I'm writing here group by department number. Now, if you run this particular query, then it will display department wise minimum salary. Now I want that the minimum salary should be greater than the minimum salary of the department number 20. So how we can filter this particular thing? Very simple, you can write having minimum of salary should be greater than the minimum salary of the department number 20. So here you can write select minimum salary from employees where department number is equal to 20. So what happened in this particular case, this, this line will return me 800. So this result will give me the record which has the salary more than 800. So I will get the 30 and 10, 950 and 1300 as a result. See here, this is the result 30 minimum salary 950. So here, this is what I did. The department number 20 has the minimum salary that is 800. Right. And that is the reason why I'm finding all the salary which is greater than this 800. So that is 950 and 1300. So in short, we can say that we can use the sub query in a having close also. Now, what is wrong with this particular statement? For example, if you write that select star from employees, let me write the example over here. Select star from employees where salary is equal to now I'm writing here select minimum of salary from employees group by department number so what happened in this particular case it will return the multiple record over here whenever you run this particular query it returns the multiple records for each department it will give you the minimum salary and as a result you will get there that is single row sub query returns more than one row so th this is the error that you will retrieve that is single row sub query returns more than one row how to resolve this very simple for that you need to use the multiple row sub query operator
So which are the multiple rows of query operator? There are three operators in, any and all. In means what? That is equal to any member in the list. For example, if you write this particular query and instead of equal, if you write here in, then it will display details of all the employees who are earning minimum in their department. For example, Parag has the minimum salary in department number 20. Ramesh has the minimum salary in department number 30 and Srey has a minimum salary in department number 10. So we can say that instead of writing a single row sub query operator, you can write multiple row sub query operator. Why? Because this your sub query returns more than one record. So whenever your sub query returns more than one row, use the multiple row sub query operator in any or all. What in will do? In is used to check equality of any member in the list. Any will compare to each value written by the subquery and all will compare to every value written by the subquery. Let me give the example. For example, I am writing here one query and that is what? Select star from employees with salary less than any. And here I am writing the query that is select salary from employees with job equal to salesman. For example, I am writing here one query. Select salary from employees where job is equal to salesman. So there are four salaries 1600, 1250 and 1500. Now if you say is less than any, it means it is a less than maximum. So what is less than any? It means less than 1600. So whenever you write the query for example, select star from employees where salary less than any. And whenever you are writing in a subquery, the same query that you have written above, that is select salary from employees where job is equal to salesman. So whenever you write this particular query, what happened? This subquery returns more than one row, that is 1600, 1250, 1250, and 1500. Now this query will, that is the outer query, will return me the record whose record is less than any, means less than maximum. So less than maximum means less than 1600. So I will get all the employee who has the salary less than 1600. See here, so 1500, 1300. So this, this is the way you can write less than any means less than maximum into the list. But if you think that sir, I want to find it out all those who are earning less than all the salesmen. It means less than the minimum, that is less than 1250. If you write less than any, then it is less than maximum. If you write less than all, then it will be less than minimum. So whenever you write this particular query, suppose instead of less than any, if you write less than all, then it will return all the record who are earning less than all the salesmen. So salesman minimum salary is 1250. So it will return me less than all this. And as a result, I will get all the employees who are earning less than 1250. So I will not get the record of this, this, this and this. I will get only first three record that is Parag, Ramesh and Anil. If you run this, you will get the output that is Anil, Ramesh and Parag. It means less than any will match for less than maximum. And whenever you write less than all, it will match for less than minimum. So this is the way you can use the in, any and all. So this is the way you can write the subquery to solve the problem in SQL. That's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.